Hello, you've caught me giving in to your demands to do this opening line for a Friday feature, even though I am suspiciously not Rob. Good things come to those who wait, eh? And whilst I'm on the ye olde sayings, patience is a virtue too, which as gamers is something we're all very familiar with thanks to loading screens. If you think about it, they're not just technical necessities about readying game worlds, they're also about making each of us into a better person. One who sits politely with our controller in hand and endures the long stretch of anticipation before the gaming begins. Oh yes, that is the good thing I deserve for waiting. Thank you, game. The titles we're looking at today, though, take their job of making us better people a little more seriously than most. We're talking about games that don't just give you a nice bit of art to look at whilst they're loading, or even an interactive space to run around in. No, these games offer up tiny bits of wisdom, wise bits of advice, that we were shocked to find were applicable to the real world. Oh, here are seven bits of life advice we actually got from loading screens. Now, you're always going to respect guidance from a trusted advisor. I mean, it's in the name, really. Their whole shtick is giving trustworthy advice. So it's a good job Overlord 2 provides you, a humble evildoer, with sage counsel from the most diabolical mind going. The Overlord games see you as... well, an overlord, attempting to carve out a name for yourself as an evil dictator with your hordes of loyal minions. One such minion is the wizened old Narl, your right claw man throughout your reign of terror with a constant supply of game and life advice. And let me tell you, Narl's loading screen musings are some of the finest snippets of enlightenment going should you be wanting to tap into your evil side. Which I can only recommend. Never take a succubus home to meet your mother. It doesn't matter how into that crazy hot demon you are, it is always a bad idea to let a supernatural entity run wild in your home. Trust me. Trust Narl. It's good to be bad, but it's better to be evil. Ah, oh, genius! Tell me more! A good leader inspires by example, but if that fails, brutal violence will do just as well. Oh man, you're so right, Narl, you're so right. How do you think I got to intro Friday features? <laughs> Rob's on holiday. Metal Gear Solid has taught me a lot over the years. It's taught me that people can shoot hornets from their mouths at will. The video game characters are real and can read your mind. You like Castlevania, don't you? That you can be possessed by having someone else's arm attached to you. Get out of my mind, liquid! And that you should avoid playing when you're tired. That one's not as fun as the others. Welcome to the installation screen for Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. A screen where you watch Snake chilling out with a cigarette whilst you learn loads of lessons. Honestly, loads. Cigarette smoke has detrimental effects to you and those around you, particularly infants, children and the elderly. Have consideration for others when choosing to smoke. Please put litter in its place. Use an ashtray for cigarette butts and ashes. If the disc becomes dirty, wipe it gently with a soft cloth. Burn-in is more likely to occur if a still image is left on screen for an extended period of time. You can view the game controls at any time by pressing the select button. It's practically a day at school with the amount of lessons you learn. That's lessons on your health, the environment, your game disc, your TV, and the game itself. Five different categories! When I went to school, we had five lessons a day, so I'm not lying when I said this installation screen is basically a day at school. Your teacher is Snake, there is no music in class, your school lasts for 16-ish minutes, and your homework is to then play the game once it's finished installing. Kept you waiting, huh? And yet this PS3 installation screen has stuck with me for years. I always look back on it fondly, I have never smoked, and I always, always handle the disc carefully in order to avoid damaging it. Our next game isn't just about loading screens, but more specifically about death screens. And luckily, in this particular game, I died a lot. Yes, I'm talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. COD 4 wasn't the first game in the series to offer thought-provoking quotes from leaders and philosophers every time the Black Curtain came down, but it was the first Call of Duty game that I played, so it seemed very clever to me at the time. And it is clever. The quotes are carefully stacked like a set of kaplunk straws pointing in all political directions so as to avoid seeming too warmongery or too draft dodgy, always propping up the marbles of neutrality. Kaplunk is a game with these marbles in a tube and you pull out these sticks and if the marbles 
The point is that we get sharp anti-war statements like President Kennedy's mankind must put an end to war or war will put an end to mankind alongside Ned Dolan's more hawkish freedom is not free but the US Marine Corps will pay most of your share. But the best quotes I always thought were the funny ones. Things like Incoming fire has the right of way and try to look unimportant, they may be low on ammo. And my favourite, if the enemy is in range, so are you. The game credits these to a few different sources, but they all actually come from an anonymously authored list called Murphy's Laws of Combat, which are military variations on the original Murphy's Law, which states that in any kind of endeavour, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. The life lesson? Disasters happen all the time, and there's no excuse not to laugh about it. If there's one game that taught me a lot about life, it's Abe's Exodus. It taught me that the individual is strong. It taught me that if I believe in myself, I can do anything. But most importantly, it taught me that farting is hilarious and a guaranteed way to make friends. <laughs> But the very first thing that Abe's Exodus taught me was that good things come to those who wait, so be patient. You could argue that every loading screen in the world teaches patience by definition, but A, you can't argue with me because I'm a video, look at me go, I'm just talking here and there's nothing you can do about it. Sure, leave a comment, I won't read it. And two, most loading screens try to placate your impatient ways with tips and animations, even mini-games. Look, Ridge Racer, I enjoyed Galaxian, okay, sometimes more than I enjoyed Ridge Racer, if I'm honest, but you taught me nothing except that I should expect to be entertained 24-7. Abe's Exodus doesn't have many loading screens, but the one it does have, right at the start of a new game, has a simple message that's always stuck with me. It's something like, this thing you've been looking forward to since Abe's Odyssey is about to start. We know you're excited, but give us a second. We'll be with you shortly. We really hope you enjoy it. That's not verbatim, I think I missed a word, but you get the sentiment. If there's any game that sat in its old leather armchair, pipe in hand, ready to bestow some hard-earned wisdom, it is Guitar Hero. The game series that made a generation of button-mashing nerds into actual guitar-wielding rock stars. It's true! Just look at me! Whether you're in a band or not, though, Guitar Hero's advice can be applied to all aspects of existence. No one wants to hear free bird. Never eat anything that gets chucked at you. You only ever need one person with a mohawk in a group at any given time. The load screens are a treasure trove of ways to master the game's tricksy rhythm mechanics and how to make it as a full Jack Black shredding superstar in equal measure. And I thank it every day for making it the person I am now. Thank you, Guitar Hero, even if I am now a person with gnarled claws for hands. And just to finish up on the most important tip, you really should keep an empty bottle to hand as often as possible. No, Dave, don't drink that! Oh, God, was that? If I say heavy rain loading screens, I bet the first thing that comes to your mind is seeing their big face taking up the whole screen. But you can't learn anything from a face, you silly sausage! So instead, here's the PS3 installation screen for Heavy Rain, which teaches you how to make an origami pajarita. No, this isn't a life lesson or anything like that, it's just a fun little party trick you can use to impress your friends and family. And I've impressed so many people with my skills. I'm not impressed. Oh. With the physical edition of the PS3 version of Heavy Rain, you are given a square piece of paper decorated to look like the iconic origami figure used in the game. You know, the one Astro's Playroom put on top of one of the bots to reference the game? The one used on the cover? It's also in the menu. If you followed the instructions on the installation screen with this piece of paper, not only had the game more likely installed, but you now had this cool little figure to keep forever and ever, and you were left with the skills to make another one. And another one. And another. And one more. Okay, now stop. My second entry is going to be unusually honest, because... I cannot remember what it is. The background here is that this particular video was my idea. I sent a group message to everyone on Thursday the 15th of July after I'd seen an in-game loading screen tip that struck me as so helpful it could be applied to everyday life. Amazing! Then everyone else came up with their own entries and I forgot my original idea. Just totally forgot about it. 
tried everything to remember. Looked at my playing history, retraced my steps before I sent the message, spoke to people I'd seen that day. Nothing. So then I spent days researching loading screen tips to see if I could find it online or something good enough to replace it. Still nothing. And then, while I was looking into the loading screen tips in one of my favourite games of all time, I found something that blew my tiny world apart. While journeying by boat you have the ability to fast travel, open the world map and select a harbour to move to that location, you can fast travel in boats in The Witcher 3. I mean, what? I played this game for 300 hours and 50 of those were sailing around Skellige picking up old bits of armour from the water and now it turns out I can fast travel. This is huge. This is better than whatever my stupid original idea was. Not just because I play so much Witcher that it could arguably count as my real life anyway, but because what a lesson this is. I mean take your pick. It's never too late to learn something new about something you love. The best things are often found when we're looking for something else. Or maybe that I should just read instructions more carefully. Yeah, I like the first one. You definitely should read the instructions more carefully, Nate. Anyway, there are our loveliest life lessons learned from loading screens. Try saying that five times in a row. What have loading screens taught you? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, this has been PlayStation Access. Don't forget to subscribe for more PlayStation goodness, and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.